So yeah, obviously I'm brand new at this and I don't even know if my camera is focused on me right now. There we go, that might be a little better. Uh, I wasn't really sure how to start this and I probably don't even have good lighting or anything. But you know, it's all a test run sort of, even though I might probably upload this. But yeah, so I'm Natalie. Hi. I'll probably come up with, you know, like a YouTube username later, but I haven't really thought about it yet, but probably will. So, yeah, wasn't really sure what to do either, so just kind of put some funny hair on, because I'm a weirdo. Yeah, which is something you'll probably get to know as these videos go on. Um, but I just decided maybe i kind of show you some stuff I got from Disneyland, even though that was back in October and it's now February. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I have a chronic cough due to asthma, allergies, and heartburn, but, uh, yep, so I just thought I'd talk about some fun things I found on my trip to Disneyland, which was awesome, in California Adventure, which I missed because I used to live in Redlands, so we used to go there fairly often, but now I am in Utah, and I don't get to go there very much, so it was really, really a much needed trip, and we actually did stop by home as well, so that was fun. Anyway, without further ado... Um, I actually did get a t-shirt, but I'm not really sure where it is right now. My closet's a filthy mess, so it's probably in there somewhere. So, I'm thinking maybe I'll just wear it for the next video. But, anyway, yeah, see? Little Disney bag. Yep, alright. So, my favorite store is the one by, like, the Haunted Mansion. So I like that one a lot. So that's where I got most of my stuff. But, uh, um... Disneyland stuff is a little pricey, even though a lot of it's kind of cool, but, uh, I found these Nightmare Before Christmas socks, and they have, um, this one, well, yeah, they have, like, Jack, Nightmare Before Christmas, which, if you don't know, um, the Haunted Mansion during October, and I believe December as well, they turn it into the Nightmare Before Christmas Mansion, and everything is Nightmare Before Christmas themed. And so it's, a, it's way different, but it's still really cool. Um, then I got these just because I just feel like these are kind of just a trademark of Disneyland. Just something that, you know, I like to get there because they just remind me of Disneyland, and they make me happy. And uh, they actually came with three, but I ate one, so yeah. And then this is um, a postcard. It's supposed to look like those, um, I don't know if it's working. It's supposed to look like those reflective pictures in the Honda matches. When, uh, when you first walk up to the cars before you get on, they're, they're a little bit different during October and December. They, um, they have like Christmas scenes and then the, when they reflect they have like the Nightmare Before Christmas characters doing different things. It's still kind of cool. And then apparently <coughs> Disneyland has its own brand of makeup, which I didn't know, but I guess I should have because there's, I'm sure Disneyland has its own brand of everything. Um, but it was a little bit pricey and I, obviously I've never tried it, so I don't know the quality. I mean, I, since it's Disneyland, I'm sure they got good quality, but I've never tried it, so I don't know. So I just went with, um, these lipsticks that are Nightmare, or Haunted Mansion, I keep saying Nightmare Mansion. I guess Nightmare Before Christmas, Nightmare Mansion would work, but the ha they're Haunted Mansion themed, is what I've been meaning. Um, but yeah, here's these little lipsticks, hopefully my camera will focus on those. Yeah, and I like the packaging too, because it's, I don't know, I like the color, black and purple are my favorite colors, so I like that, and I like that it's, um... It's just got kind of like creepy faces and ghosty, creepy looking stuff. And then it says right here, Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm like showing these the right way for people to see them. But you know, as we go along, this will get better. And I'll get less boring. I'm probably not even very entertaining right now. But And then um, I have this little Pandora bracelet. You can buy like the separate charms, you know. Um, but I have a, I have a stopper on mine, so because I don't have that many yet. 
but they have Disneyland has their own bracelets that are pretty much just like these and then they have the charms so I got a charm because I knew it would fit on this one because this isn't one from Disneyland it's the Pandora one like I said um but yeah their bracelets are pretty much just like it so I got a um sort of a pinky purple charm because I like purple with the Mickey head on it I don't know if you can see that hopefully but yeah so yeah those are just some of my <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat and my voice lately I mean it is winter and our air does get kind of dirty during the winter here <coughs> hopefully I will edit that out um but yeah and I dropped something but yeah just some of the little stuff I got there and like I said I did have a t-shirt that I really liked obviously since I got it but it's probably in the bottom of my closet somewhere which I haven't cleaned and organized yet so if I remember which hopefully I will I'll wear it in the next one and yeah this is not from Disneyland this was actually <coughs> yes. this was actually um, given to me by my neighbor slash friend who, um, she's really sweet, she just, you know, around holidays and my birthday, she just drops off funny little, like, gag gifts, kind of. I mean, it's, it's usually stuff that, like, isn't really useful, I mean, obviously, orange hair with a braid, it's a headband, but, you know, it's fun, and I'm, I'm weird, and believe it or not, I actually am a lot spunkier, usually, I'm just a little bit awkward right now, well, I'm awkward too. But this is kind of awkward since I don't really know how to do this yet. Um, but, yeah. She actually, I have two purple ones. Like, two different shades of purple, too. So, I'll probably wear something weird in just about every video, if not every video. But, uh, so, yeah. She just gives me stuff that's, like, <laughs> not really that practical, but it's fun. I mean, she gave me, like, a couple pairs of those. Like the glasses with the, that are like magnified eyes with the weird nose and the mustache and, you know, just fun stuff like that. And I mean, some of it's like, some of it is kind of practical. I mean, like candy. I love candy. But, uh, yeah, a lot of it. And she always gives a cute little card with it. But, uh, but yeah. So just in case you're wondering, this isn't from Disney. I'm not even sure where she got the, where she gets these actually, but they're just kind of fun and weird like me. Um... But, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to do, so, um, I'm really sorry this video is really short, but like I said, it's just kind of my test run, because I'm just, I'm just starting out, I'm, um, I'll try and plan better from now on, but, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do, so I'll have to try and plan some stuff out, and then maybe, like, once I get more comfortable and better at this, I can actually start doing, like, spontaneous stuff and I think my battery's about to die so bye okay so realized my camera did not focus so I decided to try this again so you could actually see my stuff sorry about the shakiness I'm actually holding my camera decided to try it this way okay so here is the Mickey Mouse charm that I was talking about for the bracelet it looks pink in this light, but it's more of like a pinky purple type color. But yeah. So there is that. And then um, here are these lipsticks that didn't really get into focus very well. The beautifully Disney Haunted Mansion. From the Haunted Mansion store. I can't remember what it's called. I should remember what it's called. I really liked it. What's the one close to Pirates of the Caribbean Haunted Mansion? So I guess it's New Orleans Square, I believe. Something like that. But I like that they have skulls on them and everything. And the faces. And then here's like the colors. I have like, um, Ghosty type names, Ball and Chain, Look Alive, Bride and Doom, Ghost Host, and then those are like roughly the colors of the lipsticks. Obviously, they're not going to match from 
the box to the lipstick, they're going to be a little bit different, but that's basically the colors. My favorite is Ghost Host because I love purple. And then probably Look Alive. Maybe. But yeah. And there's like that floating candelabra. And there's those guys that you see singing. Yeah. So, yeah. I thought those were kind of cool. Maybe in some other video, um, I'll actually open up the lipsticks and show the colors. I actually haven't really tried them yet. So maybe that's for another video. Alright, see you later. Bye! Okay, so I realized I forgot a couple things. Uh, knowing me, I'll probably find even more. But, um, this is a pin that I got, obviously. Um, I really like old photographs and antique type stuff, so I really liked, um, this old photograph of Walt Disney in this pin. I saw a girl walk by with one of them, so I went on a search. And I don't think I got the one that she had. I really liked the one she had, but this one was pretty close, and I really like it, because I like the, uh, the frame is, like, perfect with this old photograph, and then with Mickey holding it, it's just cute and unique. It's like he's paying homage to his creator, kind of. But yeah, really liked this one. Really glad I found that. So yeah, there's that. And then, um, I got this Jack Skellington mug, which on the front, it has, um, his head. And then, when you flip it around, it has his torso with his hand, which is really cool. Probably, definitely my favorite mug that I have. And then, on the inside, it has, like, these little skull faces, kind of like, almost like Jack's, but different shapes and stuff, so, yeah, so those are a couple more of my Disneyland purchases that I forgot that I had somehow, and then I do still plan on wearing my Disney shirt, I did find it, it was in the dirty clothes, so it needs to be washed, so I will wash that and wear it in the next video, hopefully I'll remember I'll try my hardest to, but eventually I will wear it and you will see it, or I'll just show it to you if, and I, if I finally remember. Anyway, so yes, I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.